back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy, the Malted Gentleman, for another adventure in beer drinking. Uh, today we're going to head south of the border. We're going to be drinking Sol, original Mexico Cerveza. This beer, hold on a second, I almost forgot my handwritten notes. So Sol was born, like how they use that term, born in 1899. It has 4.5% alcohol, 138 calories, 11.6 grams of carbs per 12 ounce serving, but zero grams of fat. So, uh, that's something. It's a crisp lager that's great with lime, as I'm sure you saw in the intro. I always try to keep handy a little plastic lime full of lime juice. And so I, I've actually had this before the showing, but I purchased the beer to make a video about it. And I, of course, got more than one, so I had to sample it. And um, I really, it's a great beer. It's like, it is a light crisp lager. It's, I think, very refreshing. Um, Personally, I think it's a little bit lighter in flavor than Corona, but I wouldn't say that it, it's not a light beer, but I, as you can tell by the, the description, it's not a light beer by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a, a light Chris Locker, and I'll tell you what, it tastes great on a hot sunny day. Although, by looking out the window, today's weather is not hot and sunny. It's been rainy and kind of muggy all day, so I'll take it, whatever. The rain's parted. I'm going to get the grill fired up in a little bit and probably film a few more videos before tonight's over, but I just wanted to talk about this beer. Mm. Oh, that is so super good. Um, like I said, it's, it's a light Chris Locker. It's more of a malty beer. There's not a, a lot of hops. It didn't say one way or the other on the website, but I'm not tasting a lot of hops. It's and it's it's got that nice. Well, actually, it smells the lime now, but flavor-wise, with just a little bit of lime in there, it just gives it a great balance of citrus without covering up the beer flavor. So if you've never tried Saul and you do like Corona or anything along that line, this is a great, a great Mexican beer too. So go ahead, give it a shot. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I have a few more of these. I plan on, on uh, drinking. And I don't know, that's really all I have to say. It's getting close to summertime. You're gonna want something that's gonna help you replenish all the, all your electrolytes. I don't know the beer really does that, but sure makes me feel better after I've been out mowing the yard or, oh, excuse me, how horribly crude. Don't you hate it when you get the burps? At least I wasn't like one of those loud, chunky ones. Anyway, as I was saying, on a hot, sunny day, you've been outside doing stuff, or maybe it's just really hot and you're out by the grill, I, I, I don't know, poolside, whatever the case may be, this is a great summertime beer. So, if you see it on the store shelf near you and you haven't tried it, I say go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I actually picked these up on a really good sale at uh, Fairway in Council Bluffs. They were $3.99 a six pack at the time. I don't think that sale is running any longer. I think normally they're somewhere in the neighborhood of $6.99 to $7.99 a six pack. I don't know what they retail uh, in the 12 pack variety. And I don't know that I've ever seen them sold by the case. But I mean, I don't know, pick up a sixer, see what you think, and I don't know. Go from there. All right, well, enough rambling for me. 
Um, thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like, subscribe button below. Tell your friends about me. I don't know. I think everybody will have a lot of fun. This is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.